Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we are on the fifth episode of Outlander Season 1. It's called Rent, and we left off with Claire. Um, her escape plan was thwarted, and she was told by um, um, the head of the military, I can't remember his name, but that she was leaving with him in the morning. They go around all the surrounding towns evidently that pay rent to um, the king guy so he has to go out and collect them so she wants to ta he wants to take her along in case there's any problems because we saw in the last episode he took her along with the boar hunt which ended up being a good idea because one guy got bored in the lake and she was able to wrap that up the other guy died he had his intestines he was eviscerated and also his blood gushing out his leg so he died right there but she was able to calm him and help him think of his homeland and that was what he was thinking about when he passed over so it was a very touching scene so like I said at the end of it I don't think she'll ever get home again even if she found those stones who's to say there's a portal that's going to be there that's going to take her right there to the exact day you know I think she's going to have to end up realizing she's stuck there so anyway that's my opinion but let's get going and see what happens here okay i'm just so thankful i wasn't born in those days no air conditioning no electricity you owed ned gowan aren't you the lawyer i did i've seen you at the hall i'm claire well i'm very pleased to meet you claire Yes, well, I've just come along to help Dougal with the records and the receipts, you know. <laughs> the only one he'll trust with the money. <laughs> also get bags of grain and cabbages and fowls suitably trust I've got no argument with. Uh, even goats, although one of them ate my handkerchief last year. <laughs> but I have given explicit instructions this year that, <laughs> that we will not accept live pigs. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that cough. <laughs> well, I can feel the puggle this stretch of the road. It happens every year. <laughs> the same season. Something in the wind sets my it's lungs afire. <laughs> I think I may be able to help you. Do you have a pipe I could borrow? <laughs> a pipe? <laughs> You'd have me smoke a pipe for a cough. <laughs> it's something of a paradox. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Must be something to do with the uh, asthma and help clearing your air. Yes, it's yeah. like smoking and taking uh, it's an thorn albula. Apple. Thorn apple. Thorn apple. <coughs> thorn apple. It's an English thing. <laughs> also known as Jimson weed. The herb had medicinal properties that would relieve the symptoms of asthma. Hmm. Go figure. See, that's where they come up with all these medicines from plants. Opening up that airway. Oh, well. How's that? That's remarkable. Hey, fuck up. We're leaving. <laughs> Don't know what I want to see in my They hate me. They don't trust you. Well, maybe Angus hates you, but he hates everyone. Something I can do for you, mistress? Oh, I was just curious. I've never heard singing quite like that before. It is a walking song. We're walking wheel. I'm Claire Beecher. I'm Donalda Gilchrist. This is Claire Beecham. She is going to be helping us today. Hello. Oh, that's pungent. Is that hot piss? Yes, Claire. Oh. It's the dye first. Oh. This in Jesha? Ah. Yeah. Grimisha, 
Apple grinds in the dirt, and I'm stuck down. Oh, thank you, Lord. I love an American. No, you are not going to sit there and do it too. And what does that do? I missed what she said. I had stories of, of a place called Craig Nadoon. Aye, where the fairies live. <laughs> My cousin went there once. Swore he saw one. The, nearby. Oh, about three days as the crow flies, I'd say. Madam, is everything all right? I'm sorry? May I be a service? Aye. You'll keep your nose out of our business. I'm speaking to the lady. The lady is a guest of Clyde Mackenzie. Do you treat all your guests this way? Bugger off. Well, maybe your lugs need cleaning out. I assure you, sir, my lugs are perfectly fine. Go home, laddie. And suckle in your ma's tit. Hmm. He looks like a little elf. Ooh, he's a red coat. I guess Fial and Ayin gave him. Hafiat Gasol Gulioran Kushin the year of. So he's trying to make him feel sorry for him. So they'll give him more money. I'm using him as a that's messed up. Ah, well enough. It's not a great deal, but we can't expect much from a small place like this, still. No. Uh, it's a respectable sum. And the young Jamie's back to show. There's money in the bank guaranteed. Be a good lass. Put your needle and thread, mend that. Mend it yourself. Ooh. I'm not bloody doing it. The lad can wear rags from now on. Me. He is such an ass. I'm in my own shirt. How do you think Colin will feel about you helping Dougal to steal money from him to line his own pockets and using his nephew Jamie to do it? I'm you the canny letter. Just wondering how it works. Two bags of money, obviously. Are there two sets of books as well? One for each brother. Seems that you've got it all sorted out. I wager they don't teach common thievery at the University of Edinburgh. <laughs> I suspect that's a skill you've acquired more recently. I must say you've got a good head in your shoulders and a tongue for argument as well. Mm -hmm. You make a fine advocate yourself. It's a pity they don't allow women to practice law. Well. Not yet. Not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a few centuries before that happens. Not really. Only two. <laughs> um, so, Dougal's even taking amongst money the from vast the and beautiful landscape. The I felt trapped, as if I were back in the stone walls of Castle Leon. But I have to reconcile myself to live the rest of my life among strangers. Pretty much. <laughs> 200 years in the past. I did sit with thieves. Hey, I will not be judged by any English law. What? What's going to you, woman? You're talking to Angus that way. Angus can kiss my English ass. <laughs> All right. Aye, he's a clotty bastard. But those are fighting words. Well, where I come from, we do. It doesn't matter where you come from. Right. It's where you're at you're right here. now. Exactly. So I'm just to stand by and watch. You're not to judge things you don't understand. Stay out of it, Claire. Events followed a familiar pattern. But for my sympathies for Jamie, 
I had little interest in Dougal's self-serving performance. The language is alien as ever, but the sentiment clear. Give us your money, and we will protect you from the English, from the Sassanachs. What an awful sight, is it not? Christ, I didn't get in that blood before I met that way face. Sassanach, he was me, so... But then my ears sparked to a name I'd heard somewhere before. Gathering Stuart sympathizers called Jacobites in a rebellion. Surely your Uncle Lamb taught you some of this. What were you doing in the desert? Jacobite derived from Jacobus, the Latin for James, since they were followers of King James II, the Catholic king dethroned by the Protestants. Sure. <laughs> That's it, quite right. So the Jacobites dedicated themselves to restoring a Catholic king, and uh, Charles Stuart used the Scottish Highlanders to raise money for the Jacobite army. A lost cause, as it turned out. I was beginning to realise the activities Dougal and his men were involved in weren't criminal, they were political. He was using the shocking display of Jamie's scars, not to frighten his audience, but to stir outrage against the British. Dougal was raising money for a Jacobite army. Isn't that wild that she was just talking about that with her husband and now she's actually there? But we have something in common. We want our king back where he belongs. What? The next morning as I watched them pack, I saw the men in a different light. Not criminals, but rebels. Mm -hmm. I wished I could tell them that they were on the yep. losing side of history. But it was all a pipe dream. The Stuarts would never unseat the Protestant King George II. But how could I tell them that? These proud, passionate men right. who lived and breathed for a flag of blue and white. Yeah, they couldn't, they wouldn't believe you anyway. Oh my god. Traitor. Even I knew that this was not the work of the watch, <clears throat> but of the redcoats. They've been out here at least a week. Mm. More likely. For the smell. Bloody bastards! <coughs> Take them down. Wrap the bodies. We'll give them a proper Christian burial. I call a conduct coochie again, shake it. Peach hashing up my bar. Hagajera, Hagajera. Chin to the gossamata. Why did you let me think you were thieves? Which made you think otherwise? In Dugger's speech the other night, I picked up enough to understand what long live the Stuart sounds like. What if I told you that the odds were stacked against you? Which odds are those? The British Army is the best in the world. That's a known fact. What of it? You're raising money for a war that you cannot win. No worries you, does it? You're the ones. It's a fact, Ned. You have to believe me. History will never record the name of another Stuart King, but it will record the names of thousands of Highlanders who've died needlessly for a doomed cause. History be damned. <laughs> Bloody noses, twelve smashed knuckles, and four loosened teeth. My no ribs hurt a bit. Bastard's fingernail was sharp as a boar's tooth. It's gouged a hole in me. Ow! Oh, you're Ow. such crybabies. I've tended to six year olds braver than you lot. Any excuse for a fight? You were the excuse. Ooh, that's what they were fighting over. Me? It was your honour we were defending. Really? Allow called you a whore. 
You're the guest of the Mackenzie. We can insult you. They can't. Well, God help any other man that does. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd ride ahead. Be dazed to cross Culloden Moor. Culloden Moor. Wow. You can see how flat and open and boggy it is. The Highland Army was completely exposed and they then charged into the teeth of you know, musket fire, cannons, mortars. With nothing more than their broadswords, for the most part. Wow. That was very, very quick, very bloody. And the whole thing took less than an hour. How many were killed? Lost something in the region of 2,000 men. Wow. But the interesting thing is that in the years following Cologne, the, mm. the estates of the clan chieftains were plundered, sold, the government banned the wearing of tartan. The man, the Kang of Swords, even the Gallic language. Wow. In effect, Culloden marked the end of the clans. Oh my the God. End of the Highlander way of life. Wow. She was just there. That was just so freaky. Clan Mackenzie. Wow. 1746. Three years from now. They'll all be dead. And what of these Mackenzie men? How many of them were doomed to die on that wretched battlefield? She can't change history. They're not going to listen to her. Go into the river to wash. Let her go. An English lady of Oxfordshire. That's what you'd have us believe. But you would seem to be a lady of strong political opinions, eh? So mm. common an opinion. You've seen things. Mm -hmm. On the road. You tell the red coats and we'll be bound to crosses just like the men we cut down. I'm not a spy. Maybe not. But you're sowing the seeds of doubt in our midst. I'm trying to save your life. She can't tell you. Maybe. You're not going to believe it. Oh, lordy. You don't have any guns like they do. Pleasure to see you again. <gasps> That's the guy from the... Other place. Once more, I ask you. Is everything all right? You could get away from him right then. Hello again, officer. Lieutenant Jeremy Foster of His Majesty's Army. This time, I do need to ascertain the lady's well-being. The lady is none of your concern. You are? Dougal Mackenzie, war chief and brother to call him. Laird of the Mackenzie clan and the lands upon the chief's stand. Mackenzie or not, if you are holding this English lady against her wishes, you'll be dealt with. Tell me, madam, are you here by your own choice? Mm. Mm. Is she going to tell him the truth or is she going to stay with the, the Mackenzies? I don't know. I think her only hope would be to to fess up and tell them that she'd been taken against her will, but then they'll kill all of her people that she's come to know. So, well, let's get to the next chapter, <laughs> or the next episode. Any comments, leave them below. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.